Hi guys, it's Tiffany and I'm coming to you again with another video. And so today, you're freaking out, right? It's the day before your exam, you don't know what to do, you're feeling nervous, you're feeling excited. Well, I, in this video, I got some tips for you about the day before and the day of the exam. So just continue watching this video. Drop a like, hit subscribe, and we're going to get into it. So again, my name is Tiffany. I am an international medical graduate. I just passed the USMLE Step 1. And so I do have some advice that is more recent that can help you with pre-test, exam help, and the date of the test. So number five, right? Tip number five, you're going to want to study no more than like four to five hours the day before the exam. So I woke up at eight and then I studied until 12. What I did was about 20 questions and then I reviewed those missed questions. And then I tried to read as much as I can my weak areas from first aid. Maybe you can start from page one and read as much as you can, but don't study after 12 or at the most two you want to relax you want to stop that anxiety you want to stop feeling like you missed questions you don't want to learn things new that you're gonna just remember the day of the exam you want to have a wide range of knowledge you want to give your brain enough time to absorb and soak up that material so try to relax after 12 or at the max um at two you want to end off studying Number four, four, do more exercise this day. Do some cardio, go outside, do a light walk. I just walked around the park and I maybe listened to a med school fitness podcast. Um, this just kept me less anxious, like not doing anything. It also made me good for the night sleep ahead. And so I will recommend doing exercises if you can. Um, number three, please. Okay, this is my big one. Review Kiss Farm. If you have Kiss Farm, rapid review, review that two times that day. And maybe at least gave me like five or six questions from that rapid review. So Kiss Farm rapid review is what I will recommend. If you need that link, if you don't have it, send me a comment down below, right? Comment down below and I will shoot you over that link to Kiss Farm. Rapid review is much needed, at least twice before your exam. Number two, no more than two cups of coffee the day before your exam. You don't want to be hyper and excitable and stressed and anxious and jittery and studying. The day before your exam, you want to be relaxed and calm and cool. So no more than two cups of coffee and make sure you pack your lunch the day before your exam. When you pack your lunch, get some energy bars, get some energy drinks, get some chocolate, get a little sandwich. I think I got Subway, but I didn't end up finishing it. But pack your lunch the day before the exam. All right. Last but not least, number one, make a sleep, well, make a schedule for your um, test breaks. So at, after every block, you're going to have to take a break. So make a schedule on how long you're going to take that break for. And I will shoot you my break schedule in this video. And you should also go to sleep, right? Go to sleep at at least 10 or 11 o'clock. That way you can have six or seven hours of sleep and feel refreshed if you have to wake up at five, six, seven o'clock in the morning to take your nine, 10, 11 o'clock exam. Make sure you go to bed at least 10 or 11 and that way you'll have a good enough night's sleep. Now we're going to get into the date of the exam. So 
Now it's the day of the exam. What are you going to do? The day of the exam, when you wake up at 5, 6, or 7 o'clock in the morning, please, 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 the first thing you do, put your exam permit in a folder and put your ID in your pocket. You cannot take the exam without your exam permit and your ID. Now, you will be able to present to the proctor or some proctoring sites this exam permit on your phone. So if you have your phone, make sure it's charged so that you can present this exam permit because, again, you will not be able to take that exam without that exam permit. When you arrive at the exam facility, make sure you arrive 30 minutes or an hour early. I know when I arrive 30 minutes early, they let me take my exam early. That just helped me from stop freaking out and sitting there and thinking about the exam. So I don't know, maybe arrive early and you need to arrive early just so you can check in. There will be a lot of different people from a lot of different testing centers or testing exams at your proctoring center. I know mine was a huge proctoring center and there were people taking the LSAT, the GRE and whatever other tests. And um, I had to check in behind these people. And so I wanted to make sure that I arrived early so that I would not miss my exam test. You also have to check in. Some people do fingerprints, Some they check your pockets and everything like that. So wear clothing that is comfortable and that does not have a lot of pockets because when you walk in, and out of that exam, you will have to check back in through security and you want to spend less time as possible because the more time you walk out, um, the more of that break time it takes and then you never know who's in front of you. So you do want to make sure you keep watch of your time breaks and try to minimize that break time by wearing less pockets so you will spend less time going through security. As far as taking breaks, please, please, please take all of your breaks. Don't try to be that person to power through because you feel good because, okay, you finished your block one with 40 questions and now you're on your second block and you're made it to question 20 and now your blood glucose is plummet, plummet, plummeting. And so you want to make, or you have to go to the bathroom. So what you want to do is make sure you take all of your breaks scheduled take them go to the bathroom go out maybe get a sip of your red bull like i did take a bite of your sandwich pop in the little kisses or chocolate bar just to make sure you keep your blood glucose up and you just want to make sure you take all your breaks that is just important um so after you take all your breaks you want to relax take a deep breath right before the beginning of every block just to calm yourself get back in the zone once you come from that break and just go hard with the test um, my tips on choosing the right answer especially like when you're down to two and you're trying to pick between those two because they seem similar one tip is to go with the most common answer always like the one that you've always seen don't try to pick the one that you kind of thought about a lot or are overthinking go with the most common um and always stick with your first answer don't ever change your answer unless you know for a fact that you were wrong uh, go with your first thought so pick the most common and go with your first thought. Those are my two tips on answering questions. And after you hit that end block for the last exam, for the last block of the USMLE, walk out of the test, congratulate yourself. You did awesome. You set and took the USMLE step one. And now, like me, you can start clinical rotations, and I swear it does feel like a huge relief, right? So, thanks for watching this video. Let me know, please, what else you guys want to see from this YouTube channel. 
I really wanted to create it to just inspire people with medicine. Um, let you know some tips I did that helped me um, succeed or that allowed me to be in the position that I am now. Please drop some more um, comments to let me know what else you think I can do better. Um, again, what you would like to see more of. Um, I am Tiffin Man and thanks for watching. Bye.